Hi class, here is a quick overview of the CSM Library website so you will be able to better find the research tools and resources you need. Most are easily available from the homepage of the website. There is also a link to the library website in Canvas for your convenience. Remember, most of the electronic resources that are featured on the library website are available free via library subscription only. They are not available for free other places on the internet. This means that because the library is paying for the resource, you have to use your library card account to access the ebook, journal, article, magazine, newspaper, etc. Your library card account number is a 14 digit number and your PIN is the last four digits of your phone number unless you have changed it. Take a look at the Quick Links menu. Most of the important resources you need for academic research are available here. You can also find them via the I Would Like to Find menu on any page of the library's website. For finding books or ebooks, there are several search systems or databases available. In particular, you should be familiar with the library catalog, either the classic or the new version. And eBook Central, a database from ProQuest. Additional eBook databases are available via the eBooks and Audiobooks page. For finding other types of materials in the databases, particularly those needed for completing the peer-reviewed scholarly research required for most college research assignments, check out the Articles and Databases link. They are organized by subject on the landing page. Click through to the subject closest to what you are researching for suggestions. There is also an alphabetical listing of them. If you know exactly which database you want to use, or if you want to browse and compare the databases, check this. The Journal Finder tool is useful if you want to discover individual journals, magazines, or newspapers that you have access to via CSM Library. Some of these are open access or freely available online, and the rest are from subscriptions or owned content, either in the print, in print, or via a database. We will review this resource in a separate lecture. Finally, the research guides have been created by librarians on a number of topics, frequently for a specific class, class theme, or assignment. These are often useful starting points for research, and you are encouraged to explore these guides while doing research. It is also easy to get help during library open hours, even if you are not on campus. Use the Connect With Us menu to get in touch with a librarian. I recommend online chat for distance students. Just type your question and a librarian will respond shortly so long as the library is open. It's important to explore the databases and search systems that are available to you so you can make the best decisions about which search systems to use for your project. Thanks.